currently only 4% of homes use low carbon heating. There's lots of opportunity to untap ways of heating home with renewable energies and low carbon heating systems. So the Energy Systems Catapult has been working collaboratively with a number of different local areas and we've built with them a plan for the decarbonisation of heat within their local area. We've recently adopted challenging and stretching targets to decarbonise Welsh economy and society. So we aim to reduce carbon emissions by 80% by 2050. Decarbonisation of our buildings is an enormous challenge, but also has significant opportunities. We've always had the view that there is a bigger prize available if local authorities are more proactively engaged in the energy system. And the work of the Smart Systems and Heat programme has given us a view of what the future might look like. Local authorities have a huge role to play in making sure that the transition to a low-carbon economy in the place where they live and the people they serve live is done in a way that benefits those people. Understanding the energy system and how it drives prosperity and improves the quality of life for people it is fundamental in enabling that transition. Greater Manchester has worked quite closely with Energy Systems Catapult over the last three to four years. Looking initially at how our data sets allowed us to create an evidence base on which we can base policy. It goes into uh, an enormous amount of detail and isn't just technology driven. Um, it, it, it incorporates things like how consumers will perhaps behave with different technologies. I think increasingly we're going to be looking towards the smart operations of our properties in a way which is not just convenient to the user but also has the ability to reduce the bills of the user by being more energy efficient. That, that will have an impact on their energy bills as well as create more comfortable, more healthy living. The work we've done has tried to sort of focus minds and just trying to test different propositions, different technologies and different areas to try and build more certainty as to what will be the most cost effective way of reaching those targets by 2050. I think the way that we are selling energy at the moment uh, is inefficient. I think it's not working in the consumer's interest. There's a lot of potential to meet customers' needs better, such as a concept we've created called the warm hour. So, for example, if you tell me you want 22 degrees in most of your rooms and you want it on for 80 hours a week, then we can create that into a heat plan for you and you'll be able to buy that for a set price. Giving people experiences that they actually want rather than just buying a unit of energy, which is what they have now. They have to have the confidence that the system that we're putting in is as reliable as what they used to use. For instance, is a heat pump as reliable now as the gas boiler that they used to? So we think that once people can achieve the level of experience, cosy home that they want, then they won't really mind whether it's a gas boiler delivering it or whether it's low carbon heating delivering it. We've learnt a lot. We've embedded some of that knowledge locally. We've been kept up to speed with latest developments, uh, not just technical, but also in terms of policy. They've enabled us to be at the, the forefront and the cutting edge of thinking in this space. Mm -hmm.